Hello, Leo. Welcome to Sidekick Tarot. I'm Ryan, and thank you for being here. This is going to be a general reading for who you may be dealing with and what they're up to. And for more tarot readings after this, go ahead and check out my wife's channel at Val33 Tarot, which is review as well. Thank you. Okay, I'll get the cards out first and let them begin. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> ooh, 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 goodness. Um, someone in the oh, geez, I was gonna say if the comments were open, someone in the comments section start uh, what's that called? Chanting Jerry Springer. Um. And I am, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding with this energy that I'm looking at. It, it's an energy of, I'm pretty sure your parents didn't raise you to speak that way or communicate that way. Um, I'm pretty sure it, I understand everyone's got their reasons in their days, but that doesn't mean you can kind of kick and scream and throw a tantrum as an adult. It's, it's kind of like, you're an adult. It's time to grow up and put those things away. Um, I don't exactly know what's going on here, but jumping into this, Leo, goodness, they are in the process of making some sort of changes to kind of keep things running. And I'm not too sure what this is, but I feel like whatever this is that they are trying to adamantly um, fix or solve or kind of maintain and withhold, um, that'll come back up later. Whatever this is that they're trying to kind of keep up with, I feel like they've gotten some sort of signs or warnings about this before. But what's interesting about this is immediately following whatever this situation is that they're kind of discovering or finding out. First, they show up confident, very confident within themselves. And they are trying to figure out some sort of financial investments. But regarding the money area, this is where things kind of get um, rough. They are showing up very ready to throw around some harsh words. They're, they're ready to have, let's just say, cut with their words and their communication and how they're even perceiving something. And overall, I, it, it does make sense because there maybe possibly has been some sort of financial loss um, regarding this investment that is making it very difficult for them to kind of continue in pursuing whatever this endeavor is. Ultimately though, this also is kind of putting in this in energy, again, of that energy of withholding, as I was saying, possibly regarding the connection. A genuine, true connection shows up between the two of you, but ultimately they are in this energy surrounding this connection in an energy of not even wanting to give to that as well. They're not in the greatest mood. They're not feeling like themselves, like they were initially. Um, they showed up with so much confidence and then it's almost like, well, let me really look at everything and it's kind of like everything kind of goes downhill from there. Now, whatever is going on regarding this connection though, that is something that they are definitely being intuitive about. But yet, this is, again, where it gets interesting. It's like Jerry Springer. You don't know what's going to happen. Who's going to pop out behind the scenes? Who's going to pop out on the side and want to start a fight? There's definitely some sort of communication here that is causing a fight or an argument between the two of you to the point where it's almost like someone's having to throw their guard up. Both people are having to throw their guard up. This is a heated argument, some sort of conflict, and it's an energy of... Someone who is just leave me the F alone and let's just figure out where this is going to go moving forward. Let's go ahead and jump into clarifiers. I've heard of the saying money will destroy families, friendships, connections, and relationships, but I have not seen this energy in a while. Kind of like that uh, scene in the Batman movie. Everything burns, including money. Let's see what these clarifiers have to show. 
Yeah. The lovers. Right away with whatever this is. This is definitely something between the two of you. Um, and I'm going to say romantically because there's there's no other way around this. Something is going on here between the two of you romantically that is just, it's not it. It's not it. It's almost like, where has the love gone? Where has the love gone? Because the love has gone someplace. It's not, it, Elvis has left the building. The love has left the building. And they're saying with however this is turning out, um, it's definitely uh, affecting their decision regarding commitment. Now, hmm, regarding working on things, they don't even want to see things from a different view or different perspective. And overall, whatever this situation is, it's an energy of they want things their way and they want their they want things their way now. Um, and it, the, hmm, goodness, ultimately what they're saying is they're, they're putting their foot down on this, Leo. They're putting their foot down and saying, I am not going to drop this. I am not going to let this go. And it, it's kind of like uh, talking to a wall at this point. It is. It's talking to a wall at this point. Yeah, like I said, they're not gonna let it go. They they don't want to they don't want to give any more to the situation. They don't know what they want to do. All they know is withhold, withhold, withhold. They are not happy. Things are not the way they want it to be. Here's the thing, though. They do know that they have to make a decision about what to do regarding everything, and that's what's fascinating. Is they show me so much energy of this, um, but then they show me there is a genuine, real, authentic connection between the two of you. So it's like, what is going on then? If the connection's real. What is going on? Is it just a bad day or what is this? Now I am looking at parental figures. Ah, that might do it. That might cause some pressure. But still, even with the connection, it's an energy of what well, What do we want? What are we going to want to do here moving forward? Yeah, that's that's the conversation. That's the conversation. What are we going to do? What can we do? I want to find out about this communication. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, my goodness. I haven't seen that either in a while. That That is definitely some cutting words. Um, I won't show you because of the card, but I will tell you. Justice reversed. This is someone who knows that they are communicating in such a way where they are meaning to hurt someone's feelings or just hurt them in general. Um, but that's what's fascinating is whatever this communication is that's taking place between the two of you, um, that is something that they're actually kind of saying, well, I'll let that go. So there are certain things that they're willing to kind of, it's kind of like pick your battles. Um, which things will you let go? What's, which things will you not let go of? It's like, that is complicated to me, but... That's complicated. They got their guard up. It possibly could have been about something that took place in the past, um, that they're still trying to kind of process and work through. That makes sense. History. Um, but of course, if you are dealing with anyone here, Leo, which you strongly are, we do have, as I mentioned, a Libra, Pisces. Sagittarius, Aries, more Pisces, and Gemini. Goodbye.